Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for September 2024. So on September 22nd, we have our second astro shift taking place. The first one, of course, being the sun moving into Libra season, triggering the equinox energy. The second astro shift that we have going on here on the 22nd is Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, ruler over Libra season, leaving Libra energy for Scorpio energy. So just right out of the bat, Okay, right out of the gate, Scorpio energy, hella intense. We're going to be doing some shadow work here. We have to move into the depths of ourselves. Venus and Libra energy, of course, enjoys the shallow end. We're moving out of the shallow end. We are now ready to do a deep dive in the deep end of our emotions, of our passions, of our desires. And when we realize what we're truly passionate about, what we truly desire, what we truly want and need in our lives, we tend to illuminate where it is that there are some fears holding us back from going after what it is that we want. We are in the fixed water energy with Scorpio. Fixed energy, of course, wants to stabilize. Now, through the Libra season, in Libra energy that we just had, we're just entering into Libra season, but Venus being in Libra energy, her rulership for the past couple of weeks was very indicative of what Libra season is going to be about because we're under eclipse energy and because soul contracts are up for a renewal. We've already been a little bit aware of where it is that we haven't been our happiest, where it is that we have been holding fears, doubts, and insecurities, especially where our relationship dynamics are concerned, but we weren't really willing to do anything about it. Scorpio energy is where there's a major change, a major transformation in our soul, in our spirit. And because there is an element that we have to unearth the darkest parts of ourselves, this is where we do the shadow work to really kind of, let's say, break the walls down, the guards around our heart space and get real and raw and vulnerable with what we actually need to do to eliminate, to purge, to release the people, places and things that we have already identified we're no longer attached to. And in the process of kind of clearing out the gunk, cleaning out the junk, we're able to understand where there's a rebirth, a resurrection of our values, of our worth, of our passions, of our desires, definitely coming to the surface. Now, there is a lot of sexual desire coming up with this particular transit as well. We're yearning for deep connection, a level of intimacy and intimacy. When you break that down, it's into me. I see Venus, of course, being about relationship dynamics and understanding that everyone outside of you is merely reflecting back to you parts of self that need a little bit more love, a little bit more growth, a little bit more healing. So because we are kind of craving this connection that is like a soul merging connection, that's where the Scorpio energy comes in. Now we're really taking a good look at all the relationship dynamics that we currently have alive and well, and we're kind of judging them. Many of us do not have the level of intimacy, the level of commitment going on in our physical realms that we actually crave. And that puts us in a situation to have to reevaluate whether or not the relationship dynamics that we're currently pouring into are something that we want to continue to experience. There is a lot of intensity that comes with Scorpio energy. And because we are overwhelmed in the heart space, because we're not in control, because we're in eclipse season and then the universe has the driver's seat, if you will, because we're now in Libra season and this is about finding peace and harmony and balance, especially in our heart space, especially in the relationship dynamics that we currently have in our physical realms, there's definitely going to be some back and forth, some up and down before we find that sweet spot. There's going to be a lot of emotions come up. Again, a lot of emotions from the past, residual energies that we didn't even know we were hanging on to. We only realize that we've been hanging on to them when we put into context and into comparison where it is that we're currently at, where it is that we would like to go. And eventually we come around to the fact, hmm, huh, how did I get here? Where you actually came 
from. We harbor a lot of pain and trauma on our heart space, especially from previous interactions, previous relationship dynamics. And just when we figure out that this present moment isn't cutting it, that the people in our world aren't really giving us what it is that our heart actually yearns for, that in itself is a huge epiphany, huge realization that puts you in a situation to actually do something about it. We're very passionate. We're very sensual. This is very intense. There's going to be a lot of heart activations. And although relationship dynamics are extremely, extremely important to us, we almost find ourselves too consumed with the ifs, ands, and buts about it. So we don't want to become consumed by other people. We don't want to give our power away. We don't want to be controlled by our bodily, let's call it cravings. We do have to strike a balance and it's going to be a very hard thing to do to strike that balance in Libra season while we're under this eclipse energy. But nonetheless, we're going to have some pop off some epiphanies to illuminate for us what actually has to change. We are going to realize a lot about ourselves. We're going to, again, identify wants, needs and desires, but equally identify fears, doubts and insecurities that are actually holding us back from going after the things that we now want to pursue. You could find a lot of disturbing understandings coming at you where it is that you've been attracted to, let's call it cookie cutter type of people and understanding that again, you haven't learned a particular lesson if you're meeting the same person in a different meat suit. You could understand where it is that the depths of your emotion is too deep for you, that you almost feel like you're getting swallowed up by your emotions. And of course, that doesn't feel good. There's a lot of fear surrounding commitment, surrounding being too vulnerable, being too open, being too giving, especially when it comes to the people that we love. But, you know, love is a powerful force. And, you know, yes, love is supposed to heal all. But when you allow it to consume you, it could be very destructive as well. We're super sensitive. We're super intense. We're super emotional. We're super passionate. And, you know, there is this element that if we get upset, we are going to 100% anchor into the dark side. We may just cut everyone off. We might shut everyone out. We might shut totally down. Scorpio energy is an all or nothing type of vibe. And so if it's not, you know, promoting happiness and joy, and it's putting us in a state where we're just so fixated on something that we can't have or something that we want to have, but we don't want to admit that we want it that can be a trigger point where we just withdraw altogether. It's all about balance. And Scorpio energy is always a roller coaster. It's always takes us to very high highs and very low lows. We're in Libra season that does the exact same. And we're also in eclipse season, which does that as well. So we have an intensity really pushing us to some very high points where we can gain a bigger, broader perspective and epiphanies of what we want, need and desire and where we want to go from here. And equally, we can find ourselves deep in the darkness where maybe depression comes out to play, maybe anger comes out to play, where we feel like we're in a crisis point where we have to choose or decide. And again, we're not really in a time for that. So, you know, the Scorpio energy definitely helps us to put the detective hat on in order to kind of work through a lot of the emotions, a lot of the new realizations of what we want to pursue, what we want to do, what we want to create, what we want more of. <music>